we had three people certify the results and they're definitely uh, conclusive. One year we had... Thank you, Joseph. I'm the one who usually complains that they can't hear. Because if you're up here, behind the speaker, we don't hear it as well as, as the people in the front of the speaker. Okay, the best speaker this year, and I couldn't possibly guess it because it was just we had too many speakers and what have you, is Mark Power. Now, um, We're coming back to show. <laughs> you, 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 in addition to this crummy piece of paper, okay, um, is and, and the hard part is you got two, four, six, eight, but I, I don't get that one. You okay. understand why yeah, that yeah. is uh, <laughs> signatures because they're everywhere, right? You can't catch up on. Uh, now, do we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this and that are not price tables. <laughs> You get first trip to the price table. Yeah, exactly. So now go back there and pick a price. price sure. Sorry? Not including the premium not price. Not right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got you to announce what you selected. Okay. Oh. Jeans Gene is guarding the premium price table because the premium price, the, okay, for, the, for those three or four new people who maybe have not gone through this routine before, we have... Um, you know, 80, 90, 100 door prizes donated. And some of them are, are significant. I'm, some of them are unusual items and what have you. I sold all my calculators two or three years ago, and my stack has grown that much simply because of, you know, meeting activity. So the normal prizes are first pick, best speaker. So the best speaker gets, uh, gets the picking of what he wants. And then the next speakers, uh, the next contest winners, get to pick. Nobody touches the premium prizes. Um, and then we draw the tickets that match up your, your blue ticket number, and then every one of you go pick. So I'm hoping that you heard me when I said, be thinking one, two, three, four, five, this is what I want, so you can go over there, pick it, and get back because we end up with more people at the price table than we have here. And it, the congestion is terrible. Gene, all yours. What'd you choose, Mark? Oh, Bob, are you recording this? Yeah, I got it. I, I need up. that. Okay, yes. What did you choose? The 16C Owner's Handbook, Solutions Book, 34C. I can't oh. read from over there. Yes. Okay. Right hand, use the right, be careful. It's very delicate. <laughs> okay. Got it? Hang on. There's the danger of putting it in your pocket. Don't put this to where the sun don't shine. I won't do that. All right. Um, thanks, everybody, for the entries in the contests. I want to talk about the RPL contest first. Uh, the problem can be solved, of course, by brute force, looking for the Social Security number by starting with 12345 <laughs> all the way up to 987, but that would take a bit too long. A bit of analysis up front suggests a couple of ways to speed up going after the solution. The fifth middle digit has to be evenly divisible by five, which means that digit can only be a zero or a five. And since zero is not allowed, that's a pretty analytical thing that you could choose to implement. It has to be a five. As well, the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth digits have to be evenly divisible by two, four, six, eight, and all that, so they cannot be an odd number. So digits two, four, six, and eight have to be even. And of course, by that method, the first, third, seventh, and ninth digits should be odd. So that's one way to approach it. When I did the RPN version of the program, which the RPL solution was faster, better have been, uh, that's what I did. I chose five, odd, and even, and just looped through all the different combinations. Took uh, four minutes to run. So. With those analyses in mind, you can do solve this, as I say, by doing some digit swapping. The answer happens to be this nasty thing. I should have done this differently. Second place, Jason Lee, congratulations for your second place entry. I thought I had the animation up. Joey Shepard won it. He had 238 bytes. So you get a certificate. 
You called it a crummy piece of paper, didn't you? Congratulations. Thank you so much. And go choose something off of the non-premium prize table. <laughs> We've had to go grab some people in the past and say, no, 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 over here, over here. Wow. That makes me wonder if I've got the next one where it's going to show up that way. Um, the RPN contest. I'm going to stand over here ready to cover it up if needed. All right, here we go. You can't still see it. No, not anymore. I know, I know. David Hayden came in second. 25 bytes to leave those numbers in there. 25 bytes. Very good. That includes the label HHC in the end. All right. The winner of the contest is Jason Lee. He is, he's second place in RPL and won the RPN contest with a 24-byte solution. So come on up and get your cruddy piece of paper. That's a pretty big accomplishment, second place and first place, so that's fabulous. On, his first visit. On your first visit. <laughs> yeah, right. Congratulations. Here's your credit piece of paper. <laughs> and you get to go. All right. The trivia, the trivia contest. The trivia contest. All right. Um, what I thought about doing. I think it's going to show them all. I didn't really mean to do that. Yeah, let, it, let him know what the prize is. It's one of those things here for what is the best answer. The first, uh, you probably uh, all have turned in your thing, but the first one, which one doesn't belong, right? R rectangular to polar, common log, sine, inverse tangent, or convert to degrees. Which one? No common log. All the others are related to trig functions. So common log is your best answer for that. Again, in the judge's uh, immaculate opinion. And the, the second one was roll up, roll down, x exchange x, recall x, x exchange y. It is x exchange x because it does not affect the stack. The others all affect the stack. They had that in common. All right. I thought I might get this one. I mean, most everybody got this one. X greater than zero, increment skip if greater than one, flag set indirect X, go to a one, or X less than or equal to Y. It's the go to. All the others are conditional, and that's simply a jump. Could have been anywhere. Doesn't even have to have a conditional in front of it. Um, <laughs> One of, the, one of the ones that was tougher, I thought, was the last one. I won't do them all. You can see it later if you like. X squared, reciprocal, sine, natural log, and integer. It's int. All the others have an inverse function. If you give sine of 20 degrees and it turns out to be blah, you can key that number in and get 20 back by doing inverse sine. You cannot do that with the result of integer. You can do last x, but that's not really an inverse function. Okay? There is fraction, but you, fraction won't get it back to you. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so undo. If you have an undo. So here we go. All right, here's what I had. For number for row five, it had psi, eex, fix, sum reg, and pi. With only those things pressed, pi is the one that doesn't belong because any number keyed after pressing pi lifts the stack. If you've done uh, psi, the number would fill in the command. If you've got um, fix, it would finish the command. Sum reg would simply relocate the memory register. So I know some of these are picky. I had to, or else they all would have been hundreds on the scores here. Yes, Richard? Um, talking about an RPN machine? RPN. RPN. Number eight. Number eight was divide y to the x tangent, change sign, or absolute. Change sign is the only one of those that does not save x in the last x. So there was a reason for it. I want you to understand reasons. The thing about this, this with minor modifications came out of the PPC journal from 1976. So... It, you had the answers all on your thumb drive. <laughs> all, the, all the conference rule said was no internet searching. Anyway, so congratulations for that. Um, the winner happens to be Eric Smith. 
with a score of 90. Which means Eric is the winner of this HP 41 CV that Bob donated. Congratulations. That's right. And that is it for the contest. Thanks for playing, everybody. The museum results will show up after 6 o'clock Eastern. So they've had a pretty good embargo. They had all sorts of questions <laughs> on this stuff. You were pleased that you didn't answer them. Well, I tried to answer some of them. Okay.